Hey guys, what is up? It's me, Legend BTV here, back at it again with my first ever year in worst list. This is the top 10 worst hit songs of 2016. Now, before we begin, I want to say that, yeah, I know I'm a little bit late on this, a lot late actually, since we're about to go into the end of 2017. Can't believe how fast that year's went by, but we're going back a year to 2016 because 2016 is definitely special to me. It is the year that I got tremendously into music. I mean, I was always sorta mildly into music around the beginning of the um, decade to 2015, which, but I really um, expanded my music taste tremendously in 2016. There was a lot of great music that came out um, from a lot of EDM, um, alt rock, so even some rap records I like, but the hit music side was where it was the weakest, and boy, do we have a batch of really bad songs to talk about. Not only was a lot of the music in 2016 poorly written, it was also very dull. I mean, you had pop music that we're going to cover in this list that was just incredibly dull, like sleep-inducingly dull. A lot of the songs were just monotone performances, very generic, lackluster songs. It was all around an inferior year for pop music. All around. From a lot of performances just sounding lazy, to a lot of beats that were underwhelming, to a lot of acts that just rose and got big out of nowhere that completely sucked, to just anything else. This year was unpredictable in a lot of ways, and I know I'm not going to go into a big thing about the death of people like David Bowie and all that stuff, uh, but... Yeah, we're going to get on with this list because we have a lot to cover. Without it out of the way, here we go. The top 10 worst hit songs of 2016. Wah, wah, wah. Will you cut that out? Number 10. One trend that happened in 2016 was a lot of songs that had tendencies to just be throwaway and just here today, gone tomorrow. And also, I like I said, a lot of songs were truly boring. This song is the epitome of that. I hate you, I love you, I hate that I love you. Don't want to, but I can't put nobody else above you. My god, I tell you, this song, I Hate You, I Love You, is one of, if not the most boring song I've ever heard on the radio. Not to say that it's like completely unlistenable, it's just so lifeless, my god. I mean, really the performances aren't even intriguing. You have a no-name rap singer, whatever, named Nash, who's just going on like People that I shouldn't be missing, sometimes you gotta burn some bridges just to create some distance, I know that I There's basically whisper rapping, if you call it that, over this sultry piano piece that really just sounds so freaking overly melodramatic that really it just sucks any sense of life or interest out of that song. It's like, okay, I hate you, I love you, moving on. Nobody cares. Nobody cares about this song. I hate it, and no, I don't love it. God, that piano line, though. The snaps that make it try and sound more radio-friendly. Like, really, the snaps that really fail on a basic level to make it sound catchy. And my god, I mean, at least with the piano, it should try and sound interesting. This is just so bland and forgettable that, wow, it's an insulting kind of bland and boring. So, yeah, skip this crap while you can. Well... Uh, it was inescapable for you radio listeners, so. And yeah, unfortunately, I do listen to the radio a lot. So I had to suffer this piece of trash for months, but we have nine songs that are way worse, so stay tuned. Wah, wah. Will you cut that out? Number nine. <sighs> when people talk about chain smoker hits, they usually say that Roses and Don't Let Me Down are their only two good hits. And I disagree with that completely. While Don't Let Me Down has a satisfying buildup, the drop really ruins the song and is very lazy and pretty much what you'd expect from the Chainsmokers. A lazy, underwhelming drop that really just panders to the lowest common denominator but ends up being a big hit. So, yeah, I don't like that song, but this song is actually a lot worse to me. Really, it's like, I I mean, I kind of see where they're coming from, but it's not catchy, it's boring. Um, we'll start with that. Um, the vocalist, Roses, is really just ugh, annoying to me. Her voice is really just 
really eerie and just kind of annoying. Like, it really annoys me. I mean, this song is so annoying. The vocal chops are just annoying to the... Oh, also this part. Yeah, why is that a thing? <sighs> also, the drop. Really? So weak for an EDM hit. Wow, I there's just not really much to redeem this song for me. I personally don't like it. It's okay if you do. I just I don't like any part of this. Sorry guys, um, but it's my opinion though. I just don't like the song at all. Wah, wah, wah. Will you cut that out? Number eight. Uh, time for an obvious pick. If I was you, I'd wanna be me too. I'd wanna be me too. I'd wanna be me too. Yeah, guys, I put Me Too on the list, but really because, man, who didn't hate this song? This song is terrible. Uh, the cheap snaps, the crappy produ production. Well, I can give it points for it being a little catchy. That's why it's not higher up on the list. But really, it's just catchy in all the wrong ways. And that hook. The if I was you, I'd want to be me too. Uh, not only does it just sound freaking egotistic as hell, but really it just, oh God, it's all kinds of awful. Her voice is really monotone and really annoying. And God, everything about the song is just annoying. And that bubblegum popping that literally is like the thing is, oh my God, why is that there? <laughs> For real. Uh, really, this, this, the video is all types of cringe as well. Really, you see that there's like M train on her room or whatever. She's waking up and she's just like, who's that icy thing I see over there? Or no, it's sexy thing. What? Icy thing. What? Okay, whatever. Moving on. Wah, wah, wah. Will you cut that out? Number seven. Ah, guys. See you again. Remember when that was a thing? Uh, yeah. The artist singing I thought was very talented. I thought he did a really great job on that song. While I don't really care for the song now anymore because of overplay and just that it just, I can't really, it doesn't latch on the same effect with me nowadays. Still, man, this guy just went downhill. And you know who it is. It's Charlie Puth. But... It's not one call away. No, 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 no. We're tackling We Don't Talk Anymore. We don't talk anymore. We don't talk anymore. We don't talk anymore like we used to do. We don't like <sighs> While I didn't think one call away was bad, really, I actually thought it was a lot better than most other people. I didn't really like it. I thought it was kind of bland, but I actually thought, I mean, it was like, Kind of alright, it was listenable, I mean, although sounding like a, kind of a, a See You Again ripoff, I mean, I still thought, hey, it was pretty good instrumentally, uh, especially for a lot of the other stuff on this list, but this song on the other hand, wow, complete garbage. First of all, it's again, another melodramatic, bland, boring pop song. I'm sick of this stupid, sad, sappy melodrama. This. We don't talk anymore crap is really just annoying and I had to hear it on the radio for months. When it first came out, I actually thought it was uh, one of the better songs <laughs> off of Nine Track Mind by Charlie Puth, an album that was already panned by critics everywhere. And wow. Yeah, this song immensely just flattened on me. It sucks. The production is lifeless, the guitar is so limp and everything, and oh, so fake sounding too. Um, really sterile diet freaking melody, and <laughs> not diet melody, but yeah, really sterile melody and progression, and really flat delivery from, especially Selena Gomez. I mean, I can hear Charlie Puth's trying his hardest, but I think Selena Gomez, she just sounds like she's asleep in this song. So yeah, crappy song from two crappy artists. 
that deserve better for like a song that was this big of a hit. So I feel bad. Wah, wah, wah. Will you cut that out? Number six. Uh, I'm gonna get some flag for this pick too, but honestly, this is a really talented artist that definitely deserves better in terms of production anyways. Let's just play it. Yeah, I know, hate on me all you want, but I actually really don't like this song, Send My Love by Adele. Honestly, the production is very boring, flat, monotone, washed out, wash, rinse, repeat. Middle of the road nothingness. Very watered down, safe pop song. It's very annoying. The Really, I don't like that part either. Um, there's just nothing about this song that sticks out, and it's like, it's so boring to have to hear on the radio. Whenever it came on, it was an instant station changer for me. Wah, wah, wah. Will you cut that out? Number five. Once again, another popular act that rose to fame in 2016 that after these singles, we'll never hear from again, I believe. And in my opinion, Thank God, because this song is awful. Once I was seven years old, my mama told me, go make yourself some friends or you'll be lonely. Oh my God, seven years. <laughs> when it first came out, I didn't love it at all, but I can respect it for what it was. But the lyrics, wow, they're not only bad, but the piano melody is so sickeningly sweet that it just feels like I'm getting cavities in my teeth while I speak. Like, well, well, while we speak right now, while I listen to it, more like it. But not only that, what is up with this guy's voice? Honestly, I cannot stand Lucas Graham's voice. And I know it's a band. I don't know who, I, I believe Lucas Graham's the singer, but I don't know. I don't know anything about them and I don't care. But I'm just saying, I really don't like this song at all. Um, the lyrics, they're just, um, oh god, the lyrics, so hypocritical, I'll just say that, I mean, here for yourself, and really guys, the song's flat, boring, predictable, and my god, what is up, I mean, I'm gonna be using boring for about every entry on this list, I mean, it's so bad that, like, this year was so bad that even a Me Too, even Me Too, like, a, a terrible song, like, is still catchier than a lot of this other crap. That's just sad. Moving on, we still have four more to cover that are way worse than this. Wah, wah, wah. Will you cut that out? Number four. This is another song that I feel like I hate a little bit more than most people. But wow, this is like the most lifeless song of the year. <sighs> Yep, yeah, that's right, Unsteady by X Ambassadors is on this list. While I Hate You, I Love You was incredibly boring musically, at least it tried to have something interesting going on with the lyrics, although they were incredibly cliche. This song, however, is... Oh, God. Uh, the chorus is annoying, the guy's voice... He feels like he's over singing to such underwhelming production is what it sounds like to me. Honestly, the production is horrible on this song. Uh, feels incredibly basic and bland. Feels like there's no melody or flavor going on at all. And yeah, I mean, uh, really? How did you guys sit through the radio? I mean, for real, like how did you guys not fall asleep and just, oh, uh, what? and everything while listening to this direct because man is it boring moving on wah, wah, wah. Will you cut that out? number three people were calling this the song of the decade wow Ah, 
Chainsmokers, you're back on this list for a second time with Closer featuring Halsey, and man, this song is lazy. When it first came out, I mean, I thought it was aight. I mean, I didn't love it, didn't hate it, but as it got overplayed, I began to notice all kinds of lazy things about it, like how bland the start is, like, to the verses, where it's just, like, a bunch of slow notes that, like, was just some bass that there's no melody, it's just some percussion over melody crap, and then... That build up, those lyrics are just horrendous. Not only that, but what is this drop? This is so lazy, the whatever. Like, what? Laziest drop of the year, and I cannot believe it was number one for so long. I blame you, America. What is wrong with you people? <laughs> Moving on. Wah, wah, wah. Will you cut that out? Number two. <sighs> Welcome back, Megan Trainer. My name is No. My sign is No. My number is No. Mm. You need to let it go. Mm. You need to let it go. Mm. Need to let it go. Mm. Nah, ta -da, ah, ta -da, no, no, no. Yes, while a lot of people considered me too worse, I actually consider No worse for a reason that uh, you're about to find out. No is incredibly boring. Like, <laughs> oh god, completely melodically flavorless and stale. Stupid throwback hit that is completely forgettable, and I don't know why it even charted this high. Please get rid of Megan Trainer. I'm so glad we haven't had a Megan Trainer hit this year so far. I mean, we saw it a few months ago, so I better um, not hit, um, knock on some wood. But yeah, this song sucks. Megan Trainer's annoying. The stupid monotone voice that, like, in the vocals, that sounds like she's just coughing up a bunch of snot sounds like she has like a whole bunch of freaking flay pagan in her throat <laughs> but seriously though she seriously sounds like she's got something in her throat because listen to this my name is no my sign is no my number is no mm. you need to let it go mm. you need to let it go mm. need to let it go mm. nah, ta -da, ah, ta -da, no 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 <sighs> wow Anyways, the beat's boring. It's so bland. Like, it really sounds so subpar in terms of the production. I mean, I'd rather listen to the production from Dear Future Husband than this crap. Pass on this. It is horrible. Before we get to my worst song this year, here are some honorable mentions. Dishonorable ones, in fact. <laughs> Yep, that's right. I put this song on the list. Honestly, I can't stand that chorus. It is absolutely horrible in the vocal department. Instrumentally, it's decent. I mean, it could be a little more melodically memorable, though. But those vocals killed the song. I'm sorry. Yeah, this is kind of an obvious pick. What we have here is a sex song that is both unsexy and tries to be catchy, but ends up dull and lifeless. Sorry guys, this is a, such a fail. Seriously, get you fired. Really? You really want your boyfriend to get fired? <laughs> Pretty much the stitches of 2015. This song is pretty much the equivalent of eating McDonald's. Since you hear it on the radio every day, it's like you're eating McDonald's every day. Delicious. <laughs> When you know it, Stitches is on the list too. Yeah, same thing as Treat You Better. Boring. Start living dangerously. Start 
I actually loved this song at first, but that chorus, man, for real, and the overproduction on the guitars, these the so-called guitars, ew. Not, not even to mention the sexual indu induendo is terrible. Eh, not really terrible, just a cheap, basic, throwaway, mediocre pop hit. But the lyrics irk me a little bit. What are those fake whistles right at the beginning? Wah, wah, wah. Will you cut that out? Number one. We've had some incredibly tedious and boring hits this year, but nothing really compares to how generic and crappy this song is. This song is more flawed than every song on this list. And the honorable mentions too. And it's one you probably wouldn't expect to be this high. But it's here for a reason. Let's roll it. Now I know a lot of people didn't like this song already, but man, I just hate it. I hate it. I hate it. For real, a lot. I hate this song a lot. Haley Steinfeld, annoying and uncharismatic. We'll go with there, start there. Um, the guitar, incredibly fake sounding and lifeless. The beat, boring. The build up, boring. The drop, terrible and boring. The lyrics, incredibly cliche. Sex cliches. Wow. And the guitars make it go like it's going for this meaningful vibe, really. It's got like, it's kind of going for like a love song, but it's like this isn't romantic at all. And the drop definitely doesn't help that. It's really just, it doesn't fit this kind of song. I mean. Really, what you should be doing is like going for that, maybe like for a love song kind of thing, like how maybe she loves her, loves this guy or something, or girl or whoever she's talking about. It's just tasted you, but no, all we have is generic, radio-friendly sing-along cliches. Roll up into one blandly produced radio hit that really, wh I, why is my local radio station still playing this song? Why? God, whenever it comes on, I just want to throw something out the window. <laughs> throw something out the window. That's the best you could come up with? Yes. Why am I talking to myself? I don't know why. But this song is horrible. I hate it a lot. It is terrible, guys. Terrible. This year, in fact, was terrible in terms of hit music. But maybe, maybe the best list will be better. Of course it will, because it's actually got some good songs on it. Stay tuned for the best list, guys. Hopefully, I won't die because of how bad these songs were. So I can still be alive to make your best list, guys, because there were good songs in 2016. There were a lot of them, in fact. Maybe not all of them that were actually hits, but um, there was a lot of good songs in 2016, I won't lie. So it was actually a good year for music for me in terms of other music, but mainstream just sucked. Anyways, guys, I am Legend Me TV. If you enjoyed my show, please subscribe. Like, comment, share your ratings down below. Share your top 10 worst hits in the comment section below. <coughs> While 2016 was a cluster flay pagan of a year, I will always be here to stay positive. Thank you all for watching. No!